Welcome to the next installment of this Let's Play of Red Dead Redemption. Um, today we are going to be going over to the Grays estate. And when we finish with that, we'll probably head over to Dutch. And depending on where we're at from that point and what else is available, we're going to head over to wherever it is over here where was it where was it so I know we fucking had a th mission What the hell happened to it? Okay. But anyways, I guess we're going to do that. But also, press... No, I don't need a compendium or that. Player... Arthur, where do I check the journal? So I'm pretty sure that's going to be this journal should tell me what's going on with that. <sighs> Okay. That's that. Okay, that's the train thing. If you overlook. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That emerald was about as real as the zebra and Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's why I only got 50. My Deadeye ability has improved. Okay. Okay, anyways. Leopold, did, do I have to go and redo your shit? Where are you at, Leopold? No? So what happened to... Okay, there it is. It wasn't there. Now it is. Okay. Back on my shit then. Alright, we're gonna go see the greys. See what the fuck we can go do over there. Hopefully not have to shoot anybody. Hello there. Hold it up. Time to go, boy. Hopefully we won't have to shoot anybody. So 
That's all I can hope for. I hate how the lighting in this place doesn't work. Easy. I guess up another lamp like right in front of me so that it can do the proper lighting. That way my face isn't just completely in shadow. Plantation. Yep. Calaga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Okay. No. Just, just gonna casually stroll around now. Horse, you wait here. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all... Yes. World. Okay. How far away is it? Okay, it's not that far. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay on foot right, right now. Try and build up some stamina. In here? No. More damn coyotes around the house. Hey, right partner! Uh huh. Out of friend! There he is. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. What was with his head? Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. Okay. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for uh, work, delivering man. a letter. Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. Yeah. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the brave. <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone. I love you, man. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, 
and stupidity. <laughs> supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she she's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind, but money. Well, in that case, <laughs> I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo. <laughs> no brains, but sweet property. <laughs> Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right. Oh, you are kidding me. I sn have to sneak there. Uh. Back to where I fucking left you. Snoot, where the hell are you? Don't run nobody over. Snoot, why'd you wander off? Why did you wander off? to the wrong direction. Why am I going the rest of the way on foot? Okay, yeah, I'm almost there. I could just go around. Oh well, I need to build up the stamina.
jeebos they need. God damn it. Having me head to this one. Is she actually out here? Penelope Braithwaite. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. That hair. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, <laughs> but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. <laughs> Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. <laughs> These I two. Don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Okay. Sure. Sure. Whatever. I got nothing else to do. Leave the area without being seen. Okay. Jesus Christ. You know what? Yeah, is there anybody around me? Nope, not yet. Okay. Is there anybody over in this area? Nah, we're good. Just go. Okay, yeah, we're still good. Still good, right? Getting close to a danger. Okay.
Okay, are we still good? Yeah. No, that... Haha! -ha. Stamina increase to level 4. Okay, I do want to check how this... How these progression things work. I am underweight, apparently. Let's go see him again, cause it's not like we're doing nothing, anything. Yep. Calm. There was a snake in there, apparently. Family business coming through. You're good. <laughs> You wait here. Wait there. Wait there, Snoop. jump you got my money sure <laughs> did you give anything for me yes might I have it sure <laughs> sure They'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna. They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. 
just no He says some, that. so thank you. Come on. We better get going. Bo, you know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Most, mostly my family. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. <laughs> Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> Please don't right, make me ladies. have to shoot everybody. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the now. water. Singing Take us down Main Street, Street, right through town to the steps of the back of road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. All right. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. Uh, I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Uh, look out, please. <laughs> Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! All right. Get down. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. Well, today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Oh. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Oh. 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 
Hey! Dependent on biology, what the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Come on. How idiotic you are. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all in ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, mm -hmm. we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. <laughs> I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. All right. Feel like we're gonna be finishing that off towards the end of this chapter. Thirty dollars, okay. Did I get gold in that? Sweet. <laughs> Come on, pal. All right. What's on my list? Why'd you bring me back to the brave? Ooh. Is that? Who's that? Marley O'Shea. Who's Molly O'Shea? Mm -mm. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and deal with Dutch's thing now. Now that the now that we've handled the Greys, which was apparently supposed to, which I'm going to assume needed to be done, should be done first. Now we're gonna go help out the sheriff. Who should be all too happy to see us after the events that just transpired with us s driving. Easy, boy. Listen, there was a predator back there. Oh, 
I'll figure out who Marley O'Shea is whenever I get back to the camp. I'm going to park me horse right here. Dutch! Of you want his assistance? Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, <laughs> I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest He men. drunk. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Um, this is our sheriff. <laughs> the sheriff of Rhodes. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst the <laughs> hillbillies and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. And the other guy never left. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. A Not a problem, sir. Not <laughs> a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Oh, is Bill in there? Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, right. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Ugh. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with the Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. So, sure you did. that's why we're going after them. Family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing mm -hmm. in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. Uh. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. <sighs> that bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that? 
Try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. For the dead bodies. No. Oh, this must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Yeah, I'm right here. Look. Suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Ugh. I wasn't anywhere near my horse. There we go. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. They're right again here. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. <sighs> I'm sure I would. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Well, you sure say it a lot. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this off a them down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Taking them alive never really works out for me. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? <sighs> left. I'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Stealth missions. In a game of the Old West. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. See? Yeah, he's going through the mob. Alright, so it shouldn't be that bad. Hey! We got 
an intruder. What? Is that because I ran? Fuck that. Alright, let me follow Bill closely this time. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Cause that guy right there will end up seeing Remember us. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Yeah. Can't really move much faster than this. Think you take this one, Bill? With pleasure. Do I just keep... Okay, so I'm assuming that Bill's just gonna go and do what Bill does. <laughs> so I decided to take the last one. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we good. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? <laughs> sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about it. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Press R2 to place it. I didn't realize that Bill went with me.
seriously. Load up your load up your guns. This is stupid because I don't have my good guns. Okay, seriously. and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Okay, I got a letter for, off of one of them, so I'm just gonna pickpocket another one. Okay, so may just be the one that I needed. How does it feel? Being a fine upholder of the law. Not that different to our normal lives so far. Who were those fellers? Not sure. Probably the people they were selling to. Guess we can't ask them now. And I thought I was protective over my liquor. Oh. <sighs> Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid. <laughs> so backwards that even we. I like genius. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. <laughs> Should I stash this somewhere near Camp Hawk? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? The one day was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. <laughs> I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got to oh, be shit. all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. Oh, mean, no. Young Dutch. I'm as strong as I, I see why we're been. gonna be hey, you know moving what? after the end of this why chapter. Don't I race you back? Uh. Okay. 
Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Motherfucker! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Just make as many cuts as you can. a chance to recover. Final stretch. You really think you can hold that lead? No yeah, I think I can. Yeah. Oh god. He's picking up to speed. My course knocked me off at the end of that. I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. <laughs> be well. I just I overworked my horse. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Snoot, I am so sorry that I had to do that to you, but we had to win. We had to win. You enjoy that. Molly O'Shea? There's an A here too now. Okay, Abigail. Okay, Abigail's is advertising the new American art. Or Molly O'Shea with an honest mistake. Or we go fishing with Javier. I'm gonna go with Molly. We'll go to Molly. Molly O'Shea! Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Haven't heard of you yet. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip up, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. 
As long as you ride with us, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I do this. It, it's easy. I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. Yeah! How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. <laughs> well, while well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been <sighs> scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. I thought this was Molly O'Shea. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox. I thought this had to do with Molly O'Shea. They switch outriders just north of here. Not uncle. The front wagons by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold be up last here. Line. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus. Cornwall. Oh my God, oh, not Craig. again. So you know, <laughs> who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's see what's inside. <sighs> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Uh... Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! Yeah! God damn it. God damn it, Uncle. God damn it! That's what I get for trying to look around. Oh, you want me to shoot them? You want me to fucking shoot them? We're heading back up in the Valentine area. Oh, 
Oh, I'm moving as fast as I fucking can. Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men at camp. Alright! Whoa! Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Good, it kept me with my Okay, give me give me all the guns I need. Stay until dark. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. Yeah. Uncle. Why? Why did we follow him? Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Lemoyne Raiders. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir... What do I do? Don't move. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Why? Looks like we're shooting. Who fucking did it? We were fucking fine until Charles or Bill Williamson start shooting the goddamn people. Oh, it was Bill. Headshot miss. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right. I gotta get these headshots in. job Hold them back. Do not let them close in on us. If we don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. Come on, old man. 
I'm trying. I'm stuck. This is stupid. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Well, he's split up a bit. Hold up. Who's in there? Arthur, with me. God damn it, Uncle. Disappoint me, fellas. Made a meal ah! out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? I'm making an old man suffer. Uh oh, clearly those boys. God damn it! I was just gonna take him out quietly. Guess we should go give him a hand. I was gonna take him out quiet. Seriously. Whenever I press fire, you should fire the gun. Alright, shotgun time. Let's try this. We good now? This went fucking terribly. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Is I supposed to complete that faster? Get 20 headshots. Oh, come the fuck on. Save Uncle when he is overpowered. You kind of have to. Because then you fail. If you don't. They don't know it's me. What? Wait, are you telling me that they don't have to see me to know it's me?
Are you trying to tell me that they don't have to see me to know it's me? Is that what I'm being told right now? And I can't head back there right now because apparently I'm now wanted for some reason. I didn't even fucking stop or anything, so there's no goddamn reason that I should be... Okay. I can't be wanted if they don't know it's me. And I'm far, far enough out of that area. Yeah, there was no fucking way he saw me and knew who the fuck did that. Yeah. Do I have my mask on still? No, okay. Yeah, there was n That's... God damn. I just need to take a minute. Ugh. That's so nice looking. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. How did that have anything to really do with Molly O'Shea? Okay, Lenny wants to go do something. Abigail. Abigail did show up on there first, so I'll probably go do Abigail first. Abigail, then we'll go ahead and do Lenny. Depends on how long Abigail's thing takes. This didn't take too long, actually. Took about 19 minutes to do this one. Most of the time it takes me about to... It takes me about 25, 30 minutes to do each of these. So... Probably sleep through the night, then we'll go ahead and... Ugh, Dutch is gonna have shit to say about robbing the Leviticus. Who is it? It's Arthur! Yeah, I finally Yeah, I finally made it back. Yeah, I'm trying to hitch my horse. All right. Real good, boy. <sighs> How's your, how's your health and shit? All right, your cores are good still. Don't need to feed you a cracker yet. Ugh. I made a fool of myself again, and one of you saved me. Could have been any one of you. Well, almost any one of you. Who's talking? I'm a cautionary tale. I know. Oh, uh, I know who's talking now. Ugh. Need to just see the word whiskey, and I knew who it was. Yeah, I don't care. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let me go, we got some sleep first. Because apparently it's Ho a Hosea thing instead. Can't they just say it's a Hosea thing instead of listing it as go see this other character? <sighs> Alright, I'll be right back. I need to get my 
drink build. Jack found a dog there, didn't he? It don't look right dressed as the law. <sighs> All right, where's Jose? You all the way the fuck out there. Okay. So what does Lenny want me to do? Preaching forgiveness as he went. Um, why do I feel like we're about to get somebody killed when we do that? Okay, but first... What's with this? I never checked these places. Kentucky bourbon, potent bitters. What is that? Okay, anyways. I need to also drop some money in that box. I'm sure, it's right back here. Yeah, it's right back here. Right. Gotta drop that off. How much is this gonna be? Diamond brooch. Forty-one sixteen. Alright, I'm contributing. Alright. Donate 400. I don't need to be carrying around no thousand bucks on me. Ledger, let's let's do this shit. Let's upgrade. <sighs> the good stuff. I wanna do this one right now. Two sixty for a map. Oh, I want that. That's the fast travel. So now I guess I can fast travel from this pro location. All right, and then another two. 40 when I get that in there. Right, 
Okay. I'll think about the rest of this stuff. We'll get to it eventually. But now my place has a fast travel? You know... Hmm. You know something, Arthur? What? what? You was always special to me. All these years. All these things we've done. Good thing. Bad thing. <laughs> All these people we seen passed on. You was always special. Okay. You're living or dying this time, Dutch. I guess we'll find out soon enough. <sighs> well, I know Dutch lives. God damn. Wait, why did my money just make a thing? But I can go any of these 10 of 20 places. Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. That sounds like such a good idea. Butcher Creek. What is Butcher Creek? Braithwaite Manor. Why did my money make a sound? Okay. So I know my money made a sound there. I don't know why. Alright, off to see Hosea. After I grab my horse. Snoot! Snoot! Where you at, Snoot? You three ain't Snoot. There's my Snoot. Boar. Boar. Alright. Alright, so Hosea wants to see us. <sighs> Leviticus Cornwall. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. <laughs> well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. <laughs> I should be uh. now. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? <laughs> Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. 
Yeah. Of course there is. Why well, wouldn't there be? is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. Okay. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. I'm quite all right with this. I know it's going to end up with us getting shot in the end, but not much I can change about that. What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. <laughs> Jose. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. Uh. Well, come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. What is cribbage? Right. Next up, the road saloon. Here we go. Ugh. He sounds just as fucking tired of this shit as I am. I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently. Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dresses. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just... look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Oh, my God. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Broke poor mammy's heart. There, there, Benton. There, there, don't get mad now.
I, I am sorry. I'm having some difficulties because of your... I'm having some issues because of you needing... I have some issues because of you. You taking up 90% of the road. I can't drive on it. Oh, this is stupid. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next um, 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, boys. I'll have one, Benton. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift for a sin. When I see it, that's the strong stuff. Just keep them coming. Sin won't catch us all. So drink up. we done here I think it's been well over 30 minutes
God damn it. It wouldn't... He was too busy trying to fucking reload to shoot. He was trying so busily to reload, he couldn't shoot. My controller just... No. You are fucking with me, right? Jesus Christ! How many shots do you have to make at point blank to fucking hit him? Seriously, how many of these fuckers are there? That woman set us up. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. yeah. Keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. Yeah. We'll still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. All right.
So loading me in over at to uh, Clemens Point? Yeah. So okay. what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Mm -hmm. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now uh, you can meet up with them why? or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. For my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. What happened? Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. What happened? Uh Jesus Christ. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, I fucking got five headshots, and I didn't get 90% accuracy because I don't know what the fuck happened with that fucking one that was choking Hosea. <sighs> Jesus. Show me my map. Let me see what shit I've got going here. Five finger fillet. Lenny. Lenny is next on our list. I do need to make my way over here. So it's either Javier or Josea, or I do both. I don't know which one. <sighs> then there's nothing anywhere else. Alright, so tomorrow we'll be continuing onwards. I think I'll just go and collect this uh, on my own time. And tomorrow we'll start with Lenny. Then we'll go... John and... Charles, I think it was, are over here. No, John and Javier. And then, after we do that one, if this one's still available, we'll go ahead and meet up with Hosea and Sean, because... Sure, send Sean. That makes total sense. Okay, let's let's see our progress for this one, because... No, that's just a thing. Progress. Okay, so we were at what? Damn, we made a lot of story progress this time. We made 5% progress. That's amazing. And overall progress. Gotta wait just a second. Good evening. Okay, let's see. Spot here for you, Arthur. Yes. 
just sit here for a minute. Let's see if we can save. Alright, let's see where our save progress is at now. We were at 35.6% overall, and we are now at... What's our overall percentage? 37.4. <laughs> we made 5% in the story, but 2% overall. Oh, God. You all right? For sure. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. <sighs> I wouldn't have. You hadn't talked me into it. Well, I suppose I should be getting off. Sounds good. <sighs> all right. All right, so at that point, so at this point we are now going to take we are going to be back tomorrow with another episode and Not great. You found a dog, right? Hi. Evening, Arthur. Evening, Jack. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. You know, I Kane. All right, we got a dog here now too. You know they say that's the first sign of madness. Forgetting shit. I had something real. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. I'm sorry. I am annoyed with myself. I don't know who's having a fit, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.